Hi, I'm Chris Durst, co-founder of RatRaceRebellion.com. Thank you for joining me for Module 7 of our free online course about how to find legitimate work-from-home jobs and gigs. Today, I'm going to talk to you about big name companies, brands that you would recognize that have robust work-from-home programs now. They haven't always, but they do now. When Mike and I first started this company back in 1999, the internet was really still in its infancy. A lot of people were still using dial-up. Um, it was slow. It was painfully slow. Um, and it just, it just was not the same kind of content that we're accustomed to seeing now. And remote work was also in its infancy because it was really the technology behind the internet that enabled companies to start to glom on to the idea of a more distributed workforce. But even with that, a lot of companies still had sweaty palms about the idea of not being able to look over somebody's shoulder when they were working, losing that control that they had by having all of the warm bodies in one place or multiple places, but with supervisors nearby to always make sure that people were staying on task. Enter COVID. Enter bird flu. Enter Hurricane Katrina. Enter all kinds of different disasters and increases in technology and companies began to understand that maybe having everybody in one place under one roof wasn't really the most effective way to get work done. As you're going to see today, as we work through this pretty quick module, the, the kinds of companies now that have fully embraced the idea of remote work has expanded vastly. I'm going to take you over to the Rat Race Rebellion site where actually if you're watching this video on our website, you're going to see right below here, there are some resources and you're going to find a list of over 100 companies, large companies um, that actually do have remote work programs and some brief details on how to find those on their websites. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to take you to two or three different sites, show you how we navigate around those, and then release you to that list that we have on the page. If you're watching on YouTube, by the way, just go down to the description underneath this video. You'll find a link to that page with the resources, and you can let loose on them as well. So to get started looking at those sites, or several of those sites anyway, let's hop over to the Amazon site. Big company, everybody knows the name Amazon. Um, and rather than going directly to their jobs page, which I have the link to, um, I do want to start on the home page because companies often change the route that you have to go to to get to their careers page. So I don't want you to get used to using a specific link and then feel lost if they change that. Um, anyway, on their home page, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. That's where a lot of companies have links to their jobs or careers page. And Amazon has theirs here under the Get to Know Us section. So I click on Careers. And you'll notice that the URL changes. Now it's uh, Amazon.jobs. Um, so that is their career page. It's not somebody pretending to be Amazon. It is their career page. I'm going to bypass all of this and click directly on the search link. In other words, I'm not going to give it any parameters at all. I'm going to just click on that search button. And it's going to pull up all of the jobs that they have all over the world. This is every Amazon job that is currently posted. Um, and first thing I want to do is in that left-hand filter by column, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And down here in the category section, they actually have a remote link. So if we click on that, it's going to bring us through to their current remote job listings. And we may find that some of them are outside of the country, um, but actually I'm seeing only U.S. right now. But as you search through, you may find some that are non-U.S. And if you want to make sure that you're only looking at your own country, you can, of course, select your country here. In that left-hand column, that's where you're going to do all of your site search refining. All right, so that's a pretty simple search with them. Now, they also use the word virtual. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and uncheck remote. 
and run a separate search using just the word virtual. And I'll click on that. And you may get different search results here. And again, I'm going to bypass other countries and go strictly to the US. Um, and we're going to probably find different kinds of results here. Some will be the same, but you may find some where the person who was entering the information failed to click that remote button. So it's a good idea to run both types of searches on the Amazon site. So that's Amazon. Let's take a hop over to American Express. Again, I'm going to start at their home page. And again, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page looking for careers, which are here under the About column. All right, I'm going to click on there, Find Open Jobs. And that's going to bring us right through to a page where we have all of their listings. I'm not going to enter anything on this preliminary page. Instead, I'm going to go over to this little filters drop down menu. Click on that. And under select work location, I'm going to click on virtual, right? Virtual and then go. And that's going to render all of their virtually placed jobs. You can see those over here in the left hand column. You can just scroll down there and see what you're looking for. And of course, in that same filter section, you can look for, uh, you can go ahead and set up any other criteria that you would like. So they have select your skills, you can select your secondary areas, your primary areas of interest. Um, but yeah, so Amazon, I'm sorry, American Express has made it pretty simple. The one thing that a lot of people miss out on is that little filters. It's kind of this little tiny section over here that most people don't go looking for. I want to encourage you as you visit these company sites, always look for the, the little fine print, um, those little drop down menus that so many people bypass as they just hit those main fields. A lot of times that's where you find the treasures that actually help you find the treasure. Let's take a look at Cigna. Okay, so Cigna, another big company. Um, I'm going to, I started at the bottom of this page, but I'm going to go back down there. I'm going to look for careers, company name. Let's see here. Careers, there we are right there. Bottom right. I'm going to, I don't need that. I'm going to go ahead and click on search. Again, not putting anything into that field. A lot of times you don't have to enter anything into the search field. So just click on search because what that does is it brings you to a page where you have more options available. Again, in that left-hand column, I'm going to scroll down and you see right here at the very bottom, they have a remote jobs option. I'm going to click on that and select remote and it's going to pull up the remote jobs for me. And again, you can use the other tools in that left-hand column uh, to fine tune the results for yourself. So you can choose the job category that you're looking for. So let's say you're looking for customer service and claims. You just click on that and it's going to change up what you're looking for over here and you'll be able to fine tune and get those results that you're looking for. Um, and finally, let's take you over to Microsoft. Again, another big name that people are familiar with. Scroll down. And not everything is going to be at the bottom of the page, but I, I do find that that is one of those areas where a lot of them um, elect to put that information. Under Company, I see Careers. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on the Find Jobs button. Again, I'm not going to enter anything in the first page. I always try to get to a deeper, uh, more refined search whenever possible. All right, and that's going to bring us through to this page where you can see they have 2,390 results as of today. I want to look at these little menus underneath and choose Worksite. And in this case, I'm going to go up to 100% work from home. I'm going to click on Find Jobs. 
It already refined it, but I like to click on it anyway, just to make sure that there's nothing, nothing that I'm missing. And then you can go ahead and start to scroll through and see what they have. And again, use the other menus to go ahead and figure out how to fine tune it as to specifically what you're looking for. So that's it. Now let's pop over to the Rat Race Rebellion page. So here we are on the Rat Race Rebellion page for Module 7. And as with every module, there is a links and resources section below the video that's giving you some tips and all of those links that I've been referring to uh, in this video and in others. So you'll see that we have a list here with over 100 companies. I believe we have about 110 on here now. And after each company, there is a brief description about how you can currently reach the remote jobs on each of their sites. Um, so we're trying to help you get the most direct path in. Now, remember, one of the reasons that I showed you how to get to each of them or how to typically navigate to a careers page on a big company's site from their homepage is because they can change at the drop of a hat. Just like that, they can decide that they want to change their page from... Um, uh, Microsoft.com forward slash careers to forward slash jobs. And suddenly this link is no longer effective. So it's really important for you to feel comfortable navigating to a careers page from a home page. This is the shortcut. All right. Um, so all you have to do is find a company, click on it and follow our instructions as to how to get to, um, that company's work from home jobs. And that will just feed you right through the process. Now is a great time to remember everything that you learned in modules three and four and start incorporating that into these searches. It's an ideal time to set up Google alerts, um, site colon searches and bookmarking if that seems to be the better option for you. Um, if you haven't already watched modules three and four, I beg you, I beg on every video for people to go back and watch three and four because they are the foundation to almost every kind of search that we're doing here. So do go back and watch those um, if you haven't watched them yet. Watch them again if you feel like you haven't refined those skills just yet. If you've been following all of the modules in order, you should now have a pretty good sense of how you're going to find that job that's perfect for you. In the next module, we're going to start to focus on how to land that job once you find it. As I mentioned previously, upwards of 75% of applications that are put in with big companies um, are not getting past applicant tracking software. The bots are weeding out their applications before they ever get into the hands of a decision maker. So I want to talk to you in the next module about how to start to build a resume that's going to bypass those bots so at least the decision is being made by a human being. Um, if you're liking these videos, I encourage you to please share with friends. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, set your notifications, and like the video. As always, if you have any questions about this or any of our other videos, please post them in the comments section below if you're on YouTube. If you're watching on our, uh, on our site, just click through to the watch on YouTube link. Head over to this video on YouTube and drop your comments or questions into the comment section below the video there. It's the easiest place for us to capture your questions and our responses in a way that other people can also learn from as they go through the comments. So you're helping yourself and you're helping them as well because they'll be able to find the answers to questions that you already asked. That's it. I look forward to seeing you in module eight, where we grease the skids to get you into the seat at that new job. Have a wonderful day.